How's it going, YouTube? Got the Tucson TS-377. Boom. Thought that would be a cool magic trick, but it looked kind of dumb. Uh, yeah. Got this knife in to do a inlay swap. So I figured I'd do a video on it, because it's a pretty cool knife. Like I said, this is a TS-377 Jelly Jerry design. D2 steel. American Tonto. Black grind, satin finish. Yeah, very unique looking knife. Yeah, as you see, it came with the, these. And I swapped it to Damascus Camo Carbon. Or as it was formerly called. Go over the rest of the specs. You got a 3.7 millimeter blade stock. At least right here it's probably four right here but uh or 0.147 inches overall length of 8.62 inches so full size plus let's compare it to some other knives the ts376 tucson just slightly smaller and the TS-444, one of my newer ones. Basically the same length. Got the Sativian ST-152. And the Petrified Fish Stamp. The stamp's a little bit smaller, the Sativian's about right on and one other one Spyderco PM2 Spyderco is a little bit smaller but not too far off the handles about the same just the blades different <clears throat> you had a 4.92 inch handle a width of 0.73 inches might be a little bit wider because of my inlays, but it was pretty wide to begin with. The inlays popped out quite a bit on this. I tried to get them pretty close. So yeah, definitely a thick knife. Close width in the pocket from here to here is 1.47 inches. Body screws are T8. All of them are T8 except for these two pocket clip screws. And you got a weight of 6.05 ounces, so not the lightest. And not really any weight relief on the inside either. I've had it apart. Do have a titanium milled clip. Held in with two screws, so it's pretty solid. Non-reversible. And you're handles titanium carbon fiber inlay normally you won't get one of these because i don't like doing two of the same knife yeah unless you do it yourself this one's a liner lock doesn't seem like it'd be the best access but i don't have any problem at all you have a couple deployment options you can thumb flick it you can front flip it very easily you can reverse flick it, but it's not easy at all. I don't even want to try it. Do you have a titanium backspacer that's flush? No lanyard hole. And a good sharpening tool. Not the thinnest of blades, but it gets down thin enough behind the edge. I'm not going to test the edge out because this knife is used. Pretty comfortable in hand. Definitely fulfilling. If you got larger hands, you'll definitely like this. Clip doesn't bug me. Good action as always from Tucson. Yeah. Definitely recommend this knife. Dislikes. The weight could be a little bit lighter. Could be a little bit thinner. Could have a little bit slicer blade. 
It's got D2 still. That's one of my big complaints. Um, I don't really like the pivot collars. And the clip's not reversible. But other than that, that's just a bunch of nitpicking. This is a really cool knife. It's very futuristic. Yeah. You'd definitely be happy to have this for sure. Cool knife. That's about all I got for this video. Um, I'll link them down below if I can find them. Uh, I think they normally go for around 100 Really depends on Tucson. You can get them on auction a lot cheaper. But subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram. It's linked down below. Get to see this stuff there first. And give me a like and a comment. And see you in the next one.